Hi, I'm Dan Malotny, broker of record with Ottawa Urban Realty, and I'm at 44 Hopewell Avenue in Old Ottawa South, a half block from Bank, on the south side of the road. And we are going to do a walkthrough of the main floor right now. So we're just coming in the front door, we're in the vestibule. So just coming in the front door of 44 Hopewell, hardwood throughout the main floor, quite a large living room. Now this home had a, a quite a large addition put onto it in the late 60s. This is looking out the front window onto Hopewell Avenue. We are about a half block from Bank Street on the south side of the road. So the addition added quite a bit to the kitchen and a master bedroom on the second floor as well as quite a large, well, uh, a decent size uh, family room or rec room in the basement. So the main floor is uh, pre-finished hardwood. And here we are walking towards the back. We have a two-piece washroom off the living room. All the paint looks relatively fresh. The trim is nice and clean. And this is the door to the basement. There's a separate video for the basement. Okay, there's a side window looking out on the home next door. Most of the land, this is the, the parking lot, parking and uh, storage area for this house, for 44 Hopewell. And this is looking back from the, from the front of the house to the back. We've got quite a large uh, pantry area here as we walk into the very large, actually, eat-in kitchen. Looks like one of the lights is out. We'll have to fix that. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to give you a look at all the details in this home. So if you think you're interested, you can book an appointment and feel that um, it wasn't a waste of your time and you weren't taking an unnecessary chance with any transmission or potential transmission of COVID. So we've got a uh, sliding door to the fairly large backyard on quite a large deck. We've got a photographer in the backyard and there's a shed and there's lovely trees and stuff. Nice countertops. Lovely island with dishwasher. Let's have a look at the dishwasher. Samsung. <laughs> Needs to be run. Um, with a stainless steel interior. We won't go too far into the cupboards and stuff. But they are nicely finished. Four drawers and multiple drawers on the other side. Quite a large countertop for a, a house, a home of this vintage. Lots of storage. More drawers here. So what do we got? 4, 8, 10, 12, 14 drawers. How's that for storage? Kitchen sink. On the island. Oh, and I looked at my cross in the mirror. Let's take a look under the kitchen sink. As usual, some garbage and some plumbing. It looks relatively clean. Very clean, actually. You know what? This is a lovely home. Let's walk from the back. So we'll start. Now it is a rainy day. So we'll walk forward from the back of the house. Now this on the uh, left side here is a piece of furniture. So that will go. But on the right side, this very large pantry will stay. And of course it's built in and matches the kitchen. Here's even some 
nice crown molding around it. Again, lots of pot lights in the living room. And we're walking back forward to the front vestibule, tile floors. Mirrored sliding door. Yeah, you can't tell from the, the closet. Right at the front door. It's actually pretty good size for, again, a home of this vintage. Lots of these things are, are difficult to find. Let's have a quick look outside the door. Here we are on Hopewell. And there's Hopewell Public School. You know, you live here, the kids can come home for lunch. And be home five minutes after the bell goes. What a nice location. I really like this. Let's just have a quick look at the outside of the house on the video.